Hey guys, Daryl here at DJ's Workshop. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. <clears throat> uh, the other day I, I took out my chainsaw, cut some trees down, and didn't want to start. So after looking at it, I realized what was happening was it wasn't getting any fuel. And the reason it wasn't getting any fuel is because the fuel lines had basically deteriorated and cracked and fell apart and it wasn't getting any fuel into the engine so what I did was I ordered um, a kit which comes with a bunch of new stuff um, you got gaskets, air filter, you got fuel lines you got an adjusting tool and we have a new carburetor and spark plug and fuel filters and a primer bulb so I'm going to go ahead and replace all this stuff, get this thing back up and running again. And we'll just run through this uh, real quick. So, first thing I did was obviously drain the gas out, and then took the old fuel filter out. And then when I looked inside, I could see part of the old fuel line was still in there. So let's see if we can grab that out of there. Okay, you can see this thing is coming up in pieces here. And there's the line as it's falling apart. I think that's all of it. Okay, so I already have all the coverage and everything off. We're going to take the, uh, the carburetor off. A couple of nuts here. We'll take those off. Yeah, you can see we have the return line hooked up there. Okay, get that out of there. All right, so this primal bulb's gonna come out. And I tried replacing these lines already with different lines, um, but they weren't the exact size. So we're just gonna get rid of all of this. Okay, so we got all the lines out. Take the gasket off, we're gonna put a new one on there. And so the first thing is we gotta run the fuel lines. Gonna run one through here, which is gonna go down there, come out here, that's where the fuel filter is gonna go on. And then the other one will be the return hose, which will go from here and then come out here. Okay, so let's see if we can get that done. Okay, so in order to feed this fuel line through, it's a pretty tight squeeze. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some mechanic wire, run a piece through the hole, attach it to the hose, and then try to pull it back through the other way. All right, so I'll show you how that goes. All right, so I'm going to take this hose and I'm going to basically cut like an angle on it like that, just to make it easier to feed through. And we're going to punch a little hole in here and attach the wire so we can run it through there. Alright, so the hole where the line goes through, we're going to put this wire in here, feed it through that hole, and then it should come out through here. And I can feel it in there. So we have the wire through. It's going to make it easier to pull back through there. <clears throat> All right, now we'll just punch a little hole right through the end here. Tough 
suppose. Okay, put that through like that. We'll fold it over like that, that's way we can pull it through now. Okay, now to help feed this through, <clears throat> I'm just going to spray a little lubricant on here. And then let's see if we can feed this up through here. Okay, well that worked out really well. Okay, so it is the first line. And then we need a return line. And I don't know if we can do that one the same way or not. Let's, uh, let's take a look here. I wonder if I can just feed it down in here. Okay, I don't think that's going to work. Alright, so let's try the same approach with this other line. This line's a little bit thinner, so it might be a little more difficult getting it through there. But well, let's see what we can do. Looks like this will work also. That's good. Oh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> well, it was coming through. Okay, so we have our other hose here now. Dream back hose. Okay, so now we have a new carburetor. I don't know that I actually needed one, but the kit was so cheap that I figured, what the hell, let's put a new one on it. This hasn't uh, had any attention since it was new, so we got a nice new carburetor here. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll take the the main fuel line. And we will snip this off. And we will go ahead and put a fuel filter on there. Alright, now we can just take this filter and just kind of tuck it down in there. What I want to do is just pull some of this line 
so that I can position this filter so that it basically sits at the bottom of the tank. Okay, that should be good. Alright, so we're going to take this main fuel line, we'll cut this flush again, and we're going to stick it onto the primer bulb. Okay. Now we're going to need another short line to go from the bulb to the inlet on the carburetor. So first we'll take this line which is going to connect to this one. Make sure we get enough hose there. set and then we'll just need another short line going from the bulb <coughs> So we don't need too big a piece here. And we'll go ahead and put this one right on here. Alright. Now, we got a couple of gaskets we gotta put on here. this back in here. It just snaps in. We'll get these lines tucked out of the way. Okay, so we get the boot you gotta put on here. Put these actually hold on. All right, and the kit comes with a new spark plug, so we'll go ahead and install that. Got a couple of gaskets that go on here. Well, we got some gas in there now. Let's see if uh, the primer is priming. Oh, we have fuel. That's good. all that's left now is just to see if it works. So let's get her outside and see what happens.
All right, guys. Well, we got her up and running again. Got the new gas lines in, the new filter, the new carburetor. Uh, it just needs a little bit of tweaking. Uh, Going to sharpen the blade up, and then she should be ready to go. So, uh, if you've had an issue with, uh, you know, your chainsaw not starting because the fuel lines uh, corroded and fell apart, uh, that's how I fixed it, and I hope that helps. If you like the video, give a thumbs up, give a like, and until next time.